we're looking at my top five tips, my top five ways to help you improve on your iPhone security. We're talking about that today. Do what you do across the socials by subscribing, clicking on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Now I will say there are more, there are a lot more tips. There are other ways to improve the security on your iPhone, but I've condensed this down to the top five, top five things that you should be putting in place to improve your iPhone security. So of course you want your iPhone to be private. You you want it to be private. You don't want people to be snooping. More importantly, you don't want apps to be able to be snooping on your activity on your iPhone. So there is a setting on your iPhone. We can control the privacy settings across applications, across services on your iPhone. Very, very important to look through this. You can turn it off or you can select which apps you do want to grant specific access to th certain things on your phone and which ones you don't want to grant access to. Within the settings area, we want to navigate to privacy. You then see a number of the apps and services that are on your iPhone. You can select each one of those and actually allow or disallow access to those certain things. So if I select contacts, you'll see that those applications are currently accessing my contact. So you turn off or on the specific services that you want to enable access to that particular application on your iPhone. At the very top, you've got location services. Now location services is of course, tracking your location against these applications. So all of these apps that I've got installed, you'll see that next to them, it says while using ask or never. So you can actually go and set that up as you need to. So 13 cabs, which is a cabs app, I can select the location to be never, ask next time while using the app or always. So if you do not want that app to actually know where you are, set that to never and you go back and then that was now set to never. If you wanna go and turn it all off, on the very top right hand corner, you've got location services and you can turn that to off all together and that will then disable location services across all applications. But just be aware that by doing this, the apps themselves will not be able to track your location. So if you need GPS coordinates or things of that nature, it will not actually know where you are. Look at controlling what services you're using on your iPhone. You've got the main ones, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Well, if you're not using the Wi-Fi, turn it off. If you're not using the Bluetooth, turn it off. There are ways to control what apps use Bluetooth and which ones don't. So look at controlling those. What about VPN? If you're using a public Wi-Fi, if you're going down to your local hotel, you're in a local restaurant and they've got a Wi-Fi, there's always security risks involved with that. So if you are gonna use a public Wi-Fi, look at using and configuring VPN. Another thing that's really important is if you're not using your phone at all, why don't you look at just turning airplane mode on, turn it into flight mode or even turn it off because if your iPhone is off, if it's on airplane mode, you're just improving the security a little bit more. Now it's a generally good practice to not use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi unless you actually need it. So if you don't need Bluetooth, you can swipe from the top right hand down and actually turn the Bluetooth off like so turn it back on as you need to. But if you wanna control what applications can and can't access Bluetooth, scroll down to privacy, down to Bluetooth, and then turn Bluetooth off against specific applications. Using VPN is actually quite important, especially on public Wi-Fi. So we're gonna select settings, we're gonna scroll down to the general area, and then scroll down to where it says VPN. Select that and now you need to add a VPN connection. Now, of course, you need to go and register for a VPN service, and then you can set that up, and then you can connect to a VPN when you're on Wi-Fi. Updates, updates, updates. This is one thing that some people don't do, or they don't do enough. Apple release updates for their iOS software. The applications that you have installed on your iPhone, well, they release updates from time to time. Now, they don't release updates to annoy you. They don't release updates so that you're like, oh, I have to install another update. Most of the time, they will release an update for very, very good reasons. They've identified a vulnerability, a shortcoming with the software, and they release an update to help protect the software on your phone. So keep your iPhone updated, iOS and the apps. To ensure that updates are installed, you wanna go into the settings area, scroll down to general and software update at the top. It will show you what version of iOS you have running and also if there's a new version available. You can also set automatic updates to on. I would enable both download and install iOS to ensure that your iPhone is updated. For applications, you wanna scroll down from the settings to the app store in the middle there and ensuring automatic downloads are set for app updates. You need to improve your authentication on your iPhone. If you're using just a simple password, 
make it a lot more complex password. If you're not using other authentication methods such as Touch ID or Face ID, start to use those. Making it harder for somebody to access your phone is gonna improve that security. So what you need to do is you need to go into the settings on your iPhone and then navigate down to where it says Touch ID and Passcode or Face ID and Passcode. Of course, it depends on whether you have a Face ID or a Touch ID on your iPhone. In my case, I've got Face ID. In your case, you may have Touch ID. Enter in your passcode to unlock. So there's a few different options available for Face ID. So you wanna enable those as you need to. The same deal with your Touch ID. You can reset it as well. Scrolling down to where it says change password down the bottom, I would recommend that you make your password very, very strong. So you enter in your existing password. In my case, I had a five digit. And then down the bottom, it says passcode options. You wanna select that. And you're now gonna select something that is custom alphanumeric code. You now put in something a lot more difficult, which includes numbers and letters. A great feature on the iPhone is that you can actually review the security of the passwords across websites that you use and that you are visiting. So you go to Facebook, you put in your credentials and then it saves it so that next time it remembers those passwords. Well, you'll get a list of every single website that you have visited and it'll obviously, if you said save password, it knows these passwords. They're stored on the iPhone and they're secure enough. But this great feature is it actually will let you know which passwords are poor, which passwords are insecure, which passwords you're potentially reusing. We're gonna open up settings. We're gonna scroll down to passwords at the very top right there. You will have a list of all of the websites that you have visited, as well as the username that you are using to access that particular website. In my case, it is found security recommendations of 180 risks have been found. An option that you could enable is autofill passwords. Selecting that, you can turn autofill passwords to off so that autofill passwords are not enabled. And then selecting security recommendations, you will see a list of every single security risk that has been found. You can then go and change the password on that website and then also have a look at the other recommendations around easily guessed passwords or passwords that are not very secure or very, very complicated. So there you have it. That were my top five. Put these into practice. Definitely recommend it. Do what you do across the socials by liking. If you like this video, comment below. If you like this video as well, let me know your thoughts as well as that subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.